Hi, so you're one of the lucky ones who have a Polaroid 600 SE. And this lens, a Mamiya, 127mm, f4.7. And you load it with some Fujifilm FP100C. And then you take a snapshot and everybody knows that this is a Polaroid type image. But I'm going to show you today how you can actually get your negatives out of this. Usually you can't, um, but today I'm going to show you how just using some bleach. So as you can see, I now peeled it apart and I have my nice positive Polaroid image here, or Fujifilm image. And as you can see, I have a negative image as well. The problem is, I think this was due to some patents, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the Fujifilm film has a black back. Um, they, they put something on there, so it's not transparent. But the cool thing is that you can actually flush this off using some standard bleach. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just cut into this and then I'm gonna mount it onto a glass plate with some tape. Um, and then I should be able to flush this off using some regular household bleach. What you wanna do is you want to carefully peel this off at this end and that should remove the entire paper frame here, okay? And then I'm going to cut here and I'm going to cut there. And um, once that's done, I can mount it onto the glass plate using some tape. I now have the negative cut the way I want to. And as you can probably see, there's, there's this sticky kind of surface to it. This we remove with water afterwards, but it's very important that you don't get bleach on this part because that will actually ruin the image. You only want bleach on the back side of this. So what you do is you, you take your glass plate and then you put this with the with the image side down onto the glass plate. It doesn't have to be too precise, but and then make sure that it's just on there nice and tight. And then I, I would use electrical tape, but I only have gaffer tape, so I'm just gonna tape it up. So now I've completely taped the edges and it's with the black matte side up and then the, the picture side is downwards, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in the sink. And I have a sponge that I'm going to use for this, and I'm going to soak it in chlorine. And here comes the bleach. Just pour a little bit over it, so that, that it sticks. And then, as I told you, I'm going to use a sponge for this, so I can actually put something into the sponge. I don't recommend that you use your hands for this without the sponge. Um, but as you can see, when I, when I start using the sponge, then all the black stuff comes off quite easily. Um, and I mean, you just you just need to give it some rubbing. Um, you can actually feel when it's starting to come off really nicely. Um, it'll have a different feel to it. Um, and for now you can see that it's completely dark still, but it's getting more and more bright. Um, and I can start to see some textures coming through. So if you're in doubt, then just use some Cold water, just flush it, and as you can probably see, we now have a negative. Um, now I just need to turn it around, take it off the plate, and then just rinse off all the uh, excess chemicals on the on the exposed side. So this is basically just the same process, just going through the negative, just, I use my fingers for this because this has no bleach on it now. Um, you can use a sponge if you want to, to get more coarse, but don't use the bleach sponge that you just used. Um, and then just keep at it until you feel that all the mushy stuff, you can see it's, it's peeling away, um, all the chemicals, and until you just, you just keep on going until it's peeled away. Um, and then you will have your final negative. And now, this should be perfectly clear that I now have a full negative of my nice, and this is actually a large format camera. This is way bigger than a medium format. Um, so now I have a nice large negative that I can put into my scanner and scan using a negative uh, scan method. 
I have a Canon scan, 9000 S Mark II. Um, and what's so great about this scan is I can actually, it just, it really fits. It just, the stripe of light just fits the negative in size. So what I just do is I tape it onto the top of it and then I can actually scan the negative quite flat. 